Want to know how to make these wine bottle hangers? Then stay tuned. Here it goes a little yeah. something like Alright, so here are the items that you need. Firstly, a wine bottle, some macrame cord, this is 3mm in off-white. You're also going to need a wooden ring, a pair of scissors, a 2-inch card, well card cut out, and a tape measure. The first step is to pre-cut the cord. You're going to need 4 80 inches and 2 20 inches and I'm working with a S hook so I place my wooden ring on it. Um, if you don't have one you can use a nail or anywhere that you can hang the project to do the work. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna grab those 480 inch cords and I'm gonna line up the ends so that they're equal and then I'm gonna run that through the ring making sure it's also equal on both ends. After that, I'm going to grab one of those 20 inch cords and I'm going to place one end on top of the cords that I have here, making sure that there is a little excess right above my thumb. And I'm going to fold that and also use my thumb once more to secure it. So you should have a little loop there and remaining cord. You're going to use that remaining cord now to just wrap around everything. Make sure that you wrap it quite firmly and I did around seven wraps. So once you've wrapped around seven times, you're going to take the end of that cord and pull it through your loop. While securing that very end, you're going to pull the top piece of the string as firmly as possible, trying to secure that loop that we just created. And then we're going to cut off those excess ends. Next, we're going to measure 13 inches along the cord and we're going to take a pair of the strings and make a knot. You're gonna see me do this here. To form the knot, you're just gonna take that pair of cords and loop it around your index finger and then pull the end through that loop and tighten firmly. You're going to use this first knot as a reference and then take another pair of the cord and form another knot. You're going to do this for the remaining cord so at the end you should have four knots. Now you're going to take two pairs of the cords and uh, out of that two pairs, you're going to work on the two inner cords. Using that two inch card that we have, if you don't have one, you can cut out two inches on 
using paper or cartridge paper if not you can just use a measuring tape but this just makes the work or the workflow much easier for me so we use that two inch card to indicate where we'll make our next knot next you're gonna take that remaining cord and align it or pair it with a neighboring cord and then form a knot as well using the same knot beside it as reference for the two inch distance and you're just gonna do this right around So as you can see, this creates a nice little crisscross pattern. After that, you're going to repeat the process for two more rows. Now on to the final row. Next, we're gonna use our thumb just to measure about an inch below those knots and grab that other 20 inch cord. And we're gonna repeat the same process that we did to start the work. So fold that cord and just start wrapping it all around everything, wrapping it around seven times. And then just pull that end through that loop that we have here and while securing the end we pull the beginning of that cord After that, you clip the ends and even out the fringes. You can leave the fringes as is or you can unravel it a bit with your fingers. I decided to just unravel it a little.
And that's how you make a wine bottle hanger. You can place regular wine bottles in it and hang them or you can do what I did by upcycling some old one wine bottles and turn them in plant hangers. So I have my little Swiss cheese that I propagated a few weeks ago. It's already shooting out a root so I'm very excited about that. It will be soon time to pot it and everything but this is how it turned out i hope you guys enjoyed it please like subscribe and share and i'll see you in another video